Good day, everybody. If you're new here, welcome and howdy. If you're old here, welcome and howdy. Uh, I had intended on swatching these Walla Wallows with y'all, but I just can't. I just, I can't. I went ahead and I went ahead and swatched them. But can y'all see? They're half dried out. There's too many light colors. I kept having to go back and check the marker. Make sure it was the right one. Look at that. There's three right there. Same color. Just all through here. The same color. Yeah, there was 120 of them. But by the time you knock out all the duplicate looking colors. So I paid... My stupid butt paid $27 and some cents plus tax. And they're, they're dry. They're scratchy. Um, they damage your paper. If you, go, if you just go one time over it, uh, it will damage your paper. And, and like I said, there's just too many light colors. Um, and they claimed on Amazon that you can use them to do watercolor and you can't and there's two two colors in here called aquamarine different numbers and different colors but they're ultramarine um they aren't as bright and vibrant as the Ohuhu markers were and I just didn't want to mess with these um I really wanted to swatch them with y'all, but I, I just can't. I just can't. That's just can't. Um, they said you can take a brush and you can right, put some marker in the the lid of a or anything plastic. Yeah, you can do it that way, but why would I want to do it that way? When all I have to do is go get my watercolor markers out and be done with it. Um, they're not worth $27 and change plus tax. You might as well say 30 bucks for 120 markers and they're they're so dried out they're so dry look hear that see that it's not even oh i just can't with these here's the fine liner it's dry too it just I just can't with these I'm sorry but I just can't I'm disappointed to say the least they claim that you could do watercolor sorry about that they claim you could do watercolors with them you can't they're not juicy at all they're dry um they're not bright and vibrant. Um, well, as you can see, they, they're just all dry. Um, and the colors are just pukey looking, muddy looking. I don't know if it comes on camera, but they are muddy looking. They're, they're just not. You can't go and claim you're a watercolor marker and then and then not deliver. Um, this, you see how muddy they are, how streaky they are. They're dry. And then when I try this, what you can with the ohuhus to a certain extent, any watercolor marker is going to cause damage. 
But I like a marker that I can, especially when they're dry like this, to be able to shade the color to itself. You can see where I've tried. And everywhere it's like that, the paper is damaged. I mean, you can go over it once. That's it. You can't go back over it and try to get it fully saturated. That's paper damage. Look at all these colors that are alike. 120, and by the time you knock out all the light colors, you, yeah, I paid $20 for 60 old hoo hoos, and I'd do that again. But these, no, I, no, 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 I can't. I just can't with these. Now, let me show you the 60 old hoo hoos. Now, there's some bright, vibrant colors. And they're not streaky and dry. They don't look muddy. So, and could I do the same thing with the Ohuhus about putting it on something plastic and then uh, yeah, I probably could. I'm not going to go there and mess with them right now, but and there's there's no like colors. I mean, they get, you can get close, but if you then if you put them together, you see there's a difference in them. Want to be darker, want to be lighter. Um, I didn't damage the paper when I was shading to itself, which I like to do. And I expect a watercolor, water-based marker to do. And these are flop. Wasted money. Wasted money. So, everything they said on Amazon about their product is a lie. And some of these, I know, aren't going to last one day. I mean, it's just, they're just not. They like to not have made it through the swatching. Some of them didn't. Some of them like that. I know it's going to wear out. And it's already. I, I didn't do nothing but that. And it's the paper is already peeled. Got a little starting to come. Anyway, just don't make the mistake I did. That's why I do this. You know, I do this so you, so you don't have to. Because <laughs> I just can't with these. Nope. 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 I, it, they're dry, they're scratchy. I don't know if you could hear that one when I was. Wallow, wallow. W A L O, W A L O. Don't touch them. Do not mess with these markers. But, yeah, I, I come in here to, and I, I swatched when I started. To swatch, you know, as I start and record it. When, when I got down to here, and they're scratching and they're tearing up the paper, I, I said, I'm not going to make my subscribers sit through that. But I said, let me, let me finish and see if anything changes. See if my opinion changes. Um, no. And the colors don't match the caps doesn't match their swatch sheet, doesn't match anything. So that's why you swatch. Here's their color chart. This is 95 T rows. Don't look nothing like that. So I went and did it on the swatch sheet they gave me. This is the watercolor that I used. Watercolor marker, water base marker, 95 T rows. This marker did this on this card. And it's not even the same. So, consistency is not there. This is just not a good product, people. Leave it alone. Don't, don't even entertain the idea. Um, it's 
they're just they're, they won't make it through one you know what the way it does the paper I wouldn't use this in my cheap Amazon coloring books no you run your coloring page because it, it's going to tear it because it's dry that's why it's damaging the paper they're, they're dry if they were juicy they wouldn't do that and every one of these has paper damage every one of them I know you probably can't see it that every one of them has <laughs> that's what happens when you draw a brush that's dry against some paper it's just like sandpaper you just, just don't guys just leave it alone not worth it I, like I said, I'd rather go pay 20 bucks for the Ahuhus than I had these. And that, that I paid $30 for these is bad enough. So these are just trash. Um, I don't know what I could, I, I don't know what I could use them for because I certainly wouldn't touch them to my coloring pages at all. Um, unless it was something I didn't care about. But, muddy colors, I mean, they look, I don't know how they're coming off on the camera, but they're muddy looking. Um, they're not, they're not well pigmented at all. But I'm sorry guys, I really did intend to do this with you. Um, but when I seen... What I seen, and this isn't that color. This is a red that I put in that. It was red that I put in here. See it in there, but it was a red marker, and it come out like that. But yeah, you're supposed to be able to use it like watercolor. You know, I'm oh, I'm tempted to tell Amazon, hey. Everything they, they put in the description for this pen is totally false. N nothing they claimed is right. So, I'm stuck with this crap. But I, I am going to tell, I am, I am going to, I'm going to tell Amazon, look, you know, you can't be letting people put Claims out there that aren't true. You, you, you just can't do that. But a lot of people, they don't know. They buy them. They use them. They, they're not colorists. They're not, you know, into it like we are. But I guess, I guess if you're that person, go, go ahead. 120 colors minus the light colors. Minus the fact that they're dry and not going to last through one page. And like I said, I keep saying it because I'm so upset. I would dare touch them to one of my coloring book pages. No. Not even the ones that's cheap Amazon paper. I can imagine what that would do to that. This isn't cheap Amazon paper. This is pretty good stuff right here. And that it didn't hold up. That's what happens when you run something dry over a piece of paper. <sighs> I'm just... Guys, I'm just so ticked off. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to say. <sighs> Except to tell y'all to stay away from Wallow Wallow. It's spelled W-A-L-O W-A-L-O Yeah. Don't. I can't stress it enough. It's so bad. It's just so bad. And, you know, if it... Maybe if it was truly watercolor markers, it'd be different. But they're not. They're just a water-based marker that's dry. <laughs> already drying out. No. Um... 
so we will get back on this this is after I shadowed shaded shadow shaded whatever um on the where it would be where it would be shaded at now I gotta find a color for the heart on the ends I want to use red um, I don't know, but we're going to get back on this tomorrow, um, wow, what a suck marker, dang, mm, 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 mm. I, I did, did tell you I'm I, I'm I'm being honest here. It's the worst I've ever used. And I got some cheap Walmart no name brand and <laughs> it's the worst I've ever used. This is the first set I've ever bought that's you know, fixing to dry out. You, I I doubt you'd get through one coloring page with them. If you dare to do it, you own your coloring books. But I, mm -hmm. Oh well, this is why I do what I do. I do this so you don't have to. So, the next thing we got to swatch is the Ohuhu, uh, watercolor in the, you know, in the pans, not pencil or pen or anything. They're regular watercolors. So we got those to go through. Um, I think that's it. Um, I did buy um, Nope. Where are they? Nope. What to do with them? Oh my god, I'm so dumb. I can't find. Nope. Nope. Good night, Lily. What did I do with those? Anyway, I bought some little round stickers to put on those devil seal. Dang it. Uh. Fine liners, but now I can't find those. I'll have to find out what I did with them. Uh, maybe up here somewhere. I gotta find them wherever they're at. I I did. I bought a set of 300 little round stickers, and now there they are. Here, got them on Amazon for two dollars and something, and there's 300 of these little dot stickers that I'm fixing to. Uh, if I feel like it, I don't even like them. I don't even want to fool with them either. But I, I may do it. I don't know. <clears throat> but anyway, if I don't get back on tomorrow, I'll be back on Monday. I know I'll be back Tuesday because I want to be with y'all on my day. 
because I don't want to feel like I'm alone. And uh, if I don't get back on with y'all tomorrow, I want to wish y'all a happy Mother's Day. Um. Yeah. So, oh, I'm sorry. I am going to say I love you. And when I say, I don't say things I don't mean. If I tell you I love you, I love you. And I do love y'all. And anyway, I don't feel so alone when I'm here with you guys. I may not know what I'm saying. I may repeat myself a hundred times. But them markers had me so upset. I'm still, I did that last night and I am still ticked off. Well, like I said, I do this, you know, so, you know, I, I'll waste my money so you guys don't have to. So, um, anyway, happy Mother's Day if I don't make it back. And I love y'all. Peace out. Bye.